I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. I know a neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, me. You like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch? Take notes? Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal, and a chum of mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. No, not today. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here. Fly 
Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. of the hour. Jeez, it took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J.O.B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but. Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with a nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Guy's up to his elbows in blood, Jack. Do you want to shake his hand? Work with him. It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it, you move on. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. No pressure, but old deal's riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? No, really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, 
Local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Ripper Doc. And Chica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. We'll see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look cool. As I am. Always. <laughs> Makes for easier living. <laughs> you got a big dumb face. Vicky's spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig, had to jack into a client's neurosocket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. 
gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play-by-play, -play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist, always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus? From the last job, can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from.
Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... Watch out for negative energy fields. And avoid mean reds. Anything red. V! Yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us up. How's biz, Misty? Booming? <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. What are you... V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. Okay. That's why I called you. You don't have to talk about it. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tech hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Huh? Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it, simple. Hmm, guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm, Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem, just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf, nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. 
client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Thing, Miss V. This worked last time. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Sing on. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? 
was first. I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. Your V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a Militech Paraline. Think it'll do. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Out. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down. I just want to talk. Christ, Meredith. Shut your trap. That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. <clears throat> Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> 
Her you can let go. Want to hear what she has to say? Couldn't have been chill from the start? Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's already good as dead! But she'll take you down with her! There you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Eww. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <sighs> Don't know you. Just open the fucking door. Yeah? You make a fucking appointment? Cause I don't see nothing in my book. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a Chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Just me not. Anti-personnel mine. 
directional shrapnels better. My favorite. Subtle. Royce, we got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch! Planet! Sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Got to lighten up. Take a hit. What you blowing? Eskif. Pure as baby powder. Black lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Upstorfs an adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trip's so intense it verges on psychosis. Corps fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! Tech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift it access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Eh. Uh, Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! <laughs> Course not! Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Raven's our baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we ought to sell that shit. Yep, we'll take it. Three, sure, yeah. Let's see a cred. 
Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Huh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? You fucking deaf! Fuck Brick then. Let's cut a new deal. Now that's good business sense. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So I'm gonna consider my offer now? <sighs> Creds on this. Trick for you, whatever the trick is. Shit! 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 Chip got a vector. They're breaking in. Zero. Unload on a B. Cut low. You can't. Where'd they go, on? Good one. Mierda. Cut off. Grab the gear. Bottom control shard. Quick! Gotta find a way out of Got this set. Bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. <laughs> really no other way. <laughs> oh, good. It's moving. Let's go.
motherfucker! Make this harder for you.
could talk there. Like a military bitch. Mm-hmm. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Mamita. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure... You know. We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Hay luego, V. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. One thing Stout forgot to mention. Chip was carrying a virus. Oldest corporal trick in the book. I assume Royce was less than understanding. Virus attacked their systems, scorched a handful of Maelstromers. I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Miss V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm-hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker'll be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. <laughs> 